everyone welcome to my channel hope you're doing well so today I thought I'd show you a new product that I'm actually quite excited about the product I'm talking about is of the sleek life proof concealer and I'm just gonna grab the three shades that I have so I have these three shades and if you can see they go from the palest to this light shade to this kind of skin tone shade and yeah so these just came out I think in the last week or so um, yeah or at least less than two weeks ago um, like I said I haven't heard a single thing about this and again like the sleek life proof foundation which I'll also be featuring in this video um, when it did come out I heard a few things I think the first time I heard about it was maybe through think Anushka's channel she's a youtuber um, and I think Christina's closet so basically two youtubers that I've subscribed to and yeah and the, just the demo of it just made me want to go get this foundation and I have had this foundation for like a few months I've tried it on and off and I do love how it how it um, how it fit how it wears throughout the day and the finish of it it's a medium to full coverage foundation and um, and the concealer is it's meant to be I think a medium to full coverage concealer as well there isn't too much information about this concealer but um, I got mine from I think look fantastic and um, you can get this on look fantastic I think feel unique you can get it on very and possibly cult beauty I'm not sure but I got mine from look fantastic anyway and oddly enough when I went on the sleek website um, there was a banner with the image of this concealer but there wasn't anywhere to actually buy the concealer itself which was weird like I said this concealer hasn't really been promoted at all which is really disappointing because given the amount that you get in here and just knowing the quality of sleek's products i've never been disappointed with any of sleek's products i'm surprised that i haven't heard anything about this or that nobody has made a video about this yet that i know of anyway and hopefully by the time i put my video out there might be you know a little bit of a bit, little bit of traction and um I'll give, there might already be a few videos of this concealer so this concealer um like i said is the star of the show and it's the reason why i actually wanted to film this video today i was kind of getting around to flay filming um a foundation review um of this sleek life proof foundation and a few other things so i just thought i might as well just make this a uh, full face of sleek products so the concealer um, is called the Life Proof, Life Proof Concealer, just like the foundation. You get 7.4 ml of um, concealer, which is a lot. And just to compare this to the much hyped uh, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, the Conceal and Define looks like um, it's a, like it's a big bottle. But um, if you just compare this to the Conceal and Define, um, and the Conceal and Define has. 0.14 fluid ounces this has 0.25 us fluid ounces um so i want to definitely want to say double um yeah i think this converts to about 3.4 mls or something something like that but yeah so basically you get double of what you get on this in this and this was 5.99 or six pounds so depending on where you get it from you might pay a little bit more but yeah so this is um and i got mine the only reason i got three was because it was on a three for two on look fantastic so um i actually should have got one shade darker but as always products never appear the same way in real life as they do online and i thought this shade might be more of a golden shade this would be more of a medium tone shade and this would be a dark shade but as you can see this is a really light shade really really light like I wouldn't be able to use this on its own this is a highlight shade and this is a kind of skin tone shade so um, I was tempted to return it but I just thought I might as well just keep it for the sake of the video and if anything I'll mix it with my darker concealers and just use this to lighten them but um, I don't expect to get a lot of wear out of this but I'll keep it for the sake of you know swatches and things like that and I will use it eventually so um, yes and da, 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 da. what do i do what do i do what do i do um so i also have a few exciting um uh, other exciting things from sleek and i have the copper plate um highlighter i've got something in my eye right so the copper plate highlighter is the newest highlighter and it's like the cleopatra's kiss highlighter so i'll show you all three that i have so i got these ages ago um 
So this is the Sol Solstice highlighter palette that nearly broke the internet when it first launched and it was just like so pigmented and everyone was going crazy for it. So the Solstice highlighter looks like this. It's more of a cool, cool tone or lighter, like at least for lighter skin tones anyway. Doesn't mean darker skin tones can't use it but you just need to go a bit light handed on this. And then you have the Cleopatra's Kiss which is more of a golden tone um, highlighter palette. This, these two are creams and these two are powders and then the difference is this new one this copper plate highlighter which is even darker it's just so beautiful and the difference with this you can't even see this up at uh, so I think yeah so that shade right there what you see is more true to life and these are all powders apart from maybe this um so basically they're all powders and this shade is probably the only one that kind of sticks out as being a bit more cool tone slightly pinky slightly purpley and this is a deep rose gold shade almost like like a, like a copper shade and these are kind of two variations of golden um, highlighters and yeah they're just so beautiful and this I have to say must be I think between this and the Cleo Cleopatra just kiss palette um, are my two favorite highlighter palettes from sleek yeah so um i think i'm gonna how where do i start where do i start so i think i'm going to so i don't there's some things obviously this will be i'm going to try as much as possible to make this a full face of sleep but there'll be some things i don't have and uh, where i don't have i'll just fill it in with the things that i normally use so um i don't have a sleek primer so I'm just going to go with my Old Faithful, my W7 Prime Magic. I have already um, done my, you know, my normal skincare routine in the morning and my face is moisturized and I have, um, yeah, just my face is moisturized. So I'm just, I'm just going to take a piece size amount of concealer, concealer, a piece size amount of primer. Based mattifying primer. And I have normal to oily skin and the perimeter of my face is normal, the T-zone is oily. Um, I'm just going to wait for this to kind of slink into my skin for a bit. And yeah, so um, I'm, this isn't going to include a wear test. If you want me to do a wear test um, or if you want me to feature this particular foundation concealer in a different video, let me know. But um, I do have a few things I need to do today and I don't tend to go out. This basically is going to be a full face of makeup. So eyeshadow, everything, and I don't tend to go out like that. So um, I will be taking this off as soon as I finish filming and taking my pictures. And then, um, yeah, so I won't be able to do a full face, um, which is what I normally like to do. So um, if you want me to do another a full face, for face if you want me to do a like a proper foundation you know wear test and review let me know like i said this isn't a foundation i've just recently purchased i have had this and i've actually worn it so i can tell you how it wears but if you want to see how it wears like in a different video then you can obviously request that and i'll make that happen but um yeah so this foundation is oil free it's medium to full coverage um sweat proof oil proof and it's obviously called the life proof foundation so it's meant to be like a kind of hard wearing long wearing foundation so on the back it has some claims and it says life proof your look with this foundation that goes the distance soft focus powders create a blurring effect and help to reduce the, the appearance of fine lines the oil free formula can help skin look even and shine free whilst imperfections are concealed so it says it's just medium to full sweat proof and oil free so um, they do have a lot of shades in this. I believe they have 24 shades. I have the two shades that are closest to me and I think I actually had two other shades and I don't know where they are. So I wanted to do like a cheek swatch for you. Just you know you can use so you can use me as a color reference. Um, but the, only, the two I can find at the moment are LP15 and LP16. And obviously LP stands for life proof. So you get from LP I'm guessing 1 to LP24 maybe. That's how I'm hoping the foundation shades run. And there's a lovely gradient obviously you knowing sleep it's not new to them to bring out a good shade you know a good shade selection they're not known for creating you know 20 shades of beige and then four shades of you know dark medium to dark skin they have a lovely gradient and um, the only thing that I will say from like maybe looking at some of the foundation color shades some of them do run a bit red or a bit orange but then there's a good shade mix there's a good mix of like olive kind of like golden tone like yellow toned and neutral shades in there as well so it's just about you know just getting into stores and seeing if you can swatch this 
and yeah try and see if you can find your shade I bought this online after I did some swatches and boots and um, yeah so you might be lucky enough to find this discounted um, if you can go get it on eBay um, recently I did check on eBay and there was some of this this foundation was actually selling for like $4.99 originally it retails for $8.99 and um, it's uh, you get 30 mls which is the standard amount for any foundation and yeah so without further ado i'm just gonna swatch lp15 on my cheek and lp16 so you can see the only thing that i will say about this foundation although it's in the squeezy tube which i actually do not mind at all it's very travel friendly um this i think because of the air that's in the tube itself um maybe to make it look fuller or bigger i don't know it's kind of backfired on them because when you open it the foundation gushes out a bit which is a bit irritating because then it kind of goes all over the inside of the lid but um yeah you just need to be careful when you're squeezing out foundation um so so i'll just show you what lp15 looks like so this is lp15 on me it looks a little bit more neutral um slightly goldeny um and then lp16 which is a mess on the inside so lp16 is a bit more orangey now um i'm gonna go with lp15 and what i think actually let's see what it looks like when you mix it i have tanned a bit since i last used this so that might not work in my favor i think i've gone like a shade, at least a shade darker so um if this looks if this makes me look orange um yeah it didn't always look like that this actually was a pretty good match but um on camera it's looking even worse than it does in real life but anywho um yeah so the thing with this foundation that i really like is that it's actually long wearing like it claims to be and it has a really lovely finish to it you can definitely build this up very quickly um, it works with both a sponge and a brush um, so today i'm going to use i'm just going to use um, one side of my face with i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to apply the foundation with a brush on this side of my face and the real techniques blended um, beauty sponge on this side of my face so um, I'm going to use LP16, I possibly might go in with LP15 to tone it down a bit but LP16 is a lovely warm shade, warm shade. Um, it kind of looks a bit orange on me but don't mind that, um, I don't think it's, oh gosh, see what I mean about this foundation, it just goes everywhere. okay i think i might even have too much yeah they need to fix this i don't know why they would feel the need do you know what? i might as well just put a little bit on this side of my face as well i don't know why they feel the need to pump the bottle with so much air that it gets everywhere So I'm going to use my buffing brush. I'm just looking at the mirror if you see me looking this way. So I'm going to use my buffing brush um, to buff the foundation into my skin. I've learned to stop putting so much foundation on my forehead because I don't really have that many blemishes on my forehead anymore, if any. So I just concentrate it on my cheek area. And I think this foundation dries matte. There's a bit of a kind of a healthy skin type of situation going on um, and from what I remember I thought it dried out matte but maybe it doesn't um, I haven't worn this in a few months because I've been trying out other foundations um, but I definitely can attest to it being long wear um, I think definitely this side looks a bit more sheer but there's nothing wrong with um, how it looks I wouldn't mind stopping here with just one layer I don't tend to wear two layers unless the foundation is pretty thin and then this side let me just zoom in a bit so 
it looks like you know um, kind of healthy skin type of thing with a bit of a dew to it actually I don't think it's meant to be matte I don't think it's meant to be matte um, it just meant it just says it's meant to be a long wearing foundation which you would auto, 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 you would automatically think would mean it's matte but it actually isn't um, yeah so this is what it looks like so this is the brush side and this is the sponge side so I'm going to balance off this side just so it appears to be to have the same amount of coverage. So I'm just going around the perimeter of my face so there isn't too much of a mask effect with this foundation because is just a little bit lighter than it used to be because I have tanned a bit okay now foundation is on next I'm gonna go on to the concealer and where is the concealer I've lost the concealer Right, so these three colors are the colors I have. The lighter shade I have is number six, which is Ristretto Bianco. Um, the next shade I have is number eight, which is Hazelnut Frappe, and that's that. And then the last shade I have is 10, which is Creamy Cocoa. So I'm gonna swatch all three so you can see what they look like. So it has a skinny um, doe foot applicator. But what I like about the finish is that it dries down quite well. I tried it on my bare skin, not on top of foundation. It dried down quite well and um, it didn't sink into my lines. I do have like lines on my under eyes. Um, they're just normal, they're not like wrinkles or anything. Um, but yeah, it didn't sink in and define them too much, which is what I liked. And it also dried down pretty quickly. It blended really well and it was matte. Um, yeah, but it wasn't a dry matte, it was a very, very comfortable matte, almost like a natural finish. So yeah, um, apart from like the skinny doe foot, which I don't mind, the thing is, I don't mind if uh, the doe foot of concealer is skinny, as long as it has good coverage. If it's skinny and it has light coverage, that's annoying. Um, I think maybe post tart shape tape and post, um, what do you call it, conceal and define, you know, which also has a large doe foot applicator. So if I hold the two up for you so you can see. So um, because of this, this is what we're now used to, this, these sized um, doe foot applicators. I don't mind um, a doe foot applicator this, this size as long as it does the job and the concealer has enough coverage. So I'm just going to um, swatch, uh, what colour is this? The Ristretto Bianco. And it's more of a, shall I say, neutral, slightly pinky toned concealer next is number eight um hazelnut frappe which is a golden toned shade and lastly is number 10 creamy cocoa okay my my fridge freezer sounds like it's in pain Right, so so this is what the concealers look like it has um, there's a really nice gradient to this and obviously there are shades in between this um, I just got the ones that I thought might have the right undertone um, the ones in between these shades that I picked kind of look like they might be a bit too neutral or um, or too pinky but yeah, so um, these concealers have a really lovely gradient. You should definitely check them out. So the two shades I'm going to use today are, in fact, I'm going to use all three, but I'm going to layer them just so we can see what they look like on me. So this is definitely my skin tone shade which I'm really really happy about so I'm gonna use um, hazelnut frappe as my highlight shade and they blend out so easily 
this concealer is so creamy and yeah I just love the way it blends out um, I definitely can say hands down I actually prefer it to the Conceal and Define So I'm going to use creamy cocoa to just clean up and um, to cover what's left of my blemishes. So this is what this is what my under eyes look like so far and as you can see the concealer has blended out so well um, I really really like this concealer um, and I love the fact that you get so much product and it's basically medium to full coverage and it's really buildable so yeah this is what my skin looks like as you can see the foundation hasn't dried down so it's more of a natural finish yeah it's not glowy to or it's not it's slightly dewy but it's not like full-on glow and it's not matte so it's a lovely skin like finish okay so I'm gonna set my under eyes with my MUA Pro Base Conceal Concealing Powder or it's like a colour correcting powder rather colour correcting powder rather um, So yesterday I actually let this concealer dry down and it did dry down matte and I don't think it really needs setting so if you have dry under eyes you'll be able to use this concealer but you definitely won't need to set it. So the powder I just went in with was my Pro Base Primary Conceal Correcting Powder in yellow and next I'm going to go in with my Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder in Neutralizing, no not Neutralizing Apricot. I'm going to go in with, with my Banana Bake Setting Powder. It looks like this. Next I'm going to go in with my Sleek Blush by 3 palette. Um, this is the Pumpkin palette. It looks like this. I'm gonna use this shade over here, and this is called Pea Pie. And then I'm gonna go over uh, my entire face with this powder. I haven't used this powder before, I don't think. Um, this is one of their old Luminous Pressed Powder, and this is in the shade. Um, LP3 it looks like this and it's just a really sheer powder with like kind of like a luminous um, it's not um, like a highlighter powder but it's just got a bit of luminosity to it um, and it's got SPS 15 actually so I'm gonna use my my powder brush let's see how this goes I'm going to use it almost like a finishing powder. I'm not actually sure if it's doing anything, but maybe the naked eye just isn't picking it up.
Just going over my face with my um, the MAC powder I've tampered with. I've basically mixed it with another powder and crushed it and put it back into the pan. Next I'm going to move on to highlighter and I think I might insert um, like a separate swatch. Um, so I'm going to insert a separate swatch actually. Before I do highlighter, let me do my let me do my brows. I do have a sleek eyebrow pencil. So I have the twist up eye pencil in chocolate. It's one of these. So I'm just going to do my brows really quickly. I'll do one brow and then come back and do the other just to save save a bit of time. It's very easy to work with but I just wish it wasn't as dark like it was just slightly less dark I'm gonna clean up my brows and then I'm just gonna come back and we're gonna do the eyes and the highlighter and lips okay so brows are on and then next um, is to basically choose between these two palettes so I have the eye lost eyeshadow palette this one is but this one is called into the night and it's bronze and if I can just get it open I do love the sleek packaging I have um I have like three of their old palettes you know with the circular pans um, but these are their newest palettes um, they're not necessarily new new but they've um, this is basically one of their newest palettes that they have available and it's just these beautiful kind of bronze tone whoopsie bronze toned colors looks like this can you see so these three one two three are three different types of shimmers this is a matte black and this is kind of like a, a glittery creamy black and this is a creamy oh right you can't even see right so these three are shimmers this is a matte black this is the creamy glittery type of um, black and this is a creamy gold and then I'm going to show you what this one looks like this one is called into the night as well and it's the, the silver version So this is all silver and um, admittedly when I did buy this I thought I was buying the other one because they do have like four of these I thought I was buying the one with the purple and the pink and the because that's the colorful one basically the one I thought I was buying and turns out this is what I was buying and I didn't look at the description properly so this is all silver and they're just so pigmented um, I'm gonna show you swatches of all of these now actually I think that'll be a lot easier actually uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you a swatch of the silver first. So this is what all shades look, or six of these shades look like, and the one in the that's fourth from my what is this? My right. So the shade that's fourth from my right is more of a kind of like a glittery satiny type of um it's not as pigment basically all i'm trying to say is that it's not as pigmented as the other colors but i think that's the way it was formulated to be like that but yeah so these colors are so pigmented i didn't even need to press hard at all so these two colors are creams and this black is a cream as well so yeah um i love love if you love like silver type eyeshadows um this is right up your street i wasn't too crazy crazy about this particular um palette but um, given the formula I think I'm definitely gonna play with this so I feel like if I tilt it a bit you can see the difference in the shades so this is what the bronze palette looks like now as you can see um, this shade over here isn't um, isn't as pigmented it's actually very very oh did I just dig my nail into this oh great so this black shade has gold specks in it and this black this is the only black that's this is the only this is the only matte shade in the palette and it actually wasn't as pigmented as it looks and it looks really really black but it didn't really swatch well and that's what it swatched like and I had to go over it several times to get that so I'm not sure how it's gonna come off on um, on my eyes but yeah so I think I'm gonna use 
I don't know I might see if I can use maybe one on one eye just so you can see what what one looks like and what the other looks like maybe I don't know let's see um, I think yeah I'm gonna do that so I can get two looks in one but again the formula of this these um, eyeshadows is probably one of the best um, formula I've tried from sleek to date um, comparing it to their old-school um, palettes with the circular pans so um, what am I gonna do I think I have a random palette um, that I got from Poundland actually. So Poundland was selling um, these palettes. So this is one of their um, older older palettes, and it's meant to be like a blush, um, like a you know all over face type of palette that you could use and just travel with, and it'll be like a an all in one kind of stop type of thing. Um, so this is the Eye and Cheek palette, and it's called Dancing Till Dusk in um, 027 it also, it also contains the Sahara blush and that I know a lot of people love the Sahara blush and they couldn't find it it comes in this palette over here um, and yeah so I'm gonna use the brown shade I'm gonna use this brown shade um, as a kind of light transition hopefully it's not too pigmented so I will use this as a light transition shade so I'm just gonna um, conceal my eye. I'm going to use a bit more hazelnut frappe, that hazelnut frappe on my eyelids. And I'm going to go straight in with this brown shade. building up quite well but I'm just gonna go in with to the Sahara blush and use that almost as a transition shade I probably should have used that first I'm just taking it further down into the outer corner of my eye next I'm going to take a flat shader brush and I think I'm going to go in with this first shade over here there's a bit of a um, kick up on this eyeshadow so you just need to be a bit careful with it I'm just cutting my crease with it and the thing is you don't really need to wet this eyeshadow because it's basically like molten it's basically like just pigment um, but I'm just gonna I might wet it just to see if I can get a sharper cut on my cut crease next I'm gonna go in with this gold over here I'm going to clean my brush and with the same brush I'm going to go into this, this creamy black shade I'm kind of using it to line my um, lash line Then I'm going to take a flat, um, a fat pencil brush, and I'm going to use the the matte shade, the matte black shade, which is this one. I'm going to take more of this gold shade next to the creamy black shade and I'm just going to carry it further out. 
Okay, so lastly, I'm gonna take the creamy gold shade and put it, put that in my inner corner. Okay, so next I'm gonna take the matte black shade again from the bronze palette and I'm just gonna take a slanted um, I think eyebrow brush or something I don't know what it's called I'm gonna I mean I'm gonna um, smudge this on my lower lash line despite the fact that this black shade isn't didn't swatch very well it's actually applying very well um, and it's black enough So I'm going to take this dark brown, almost black um, eyeliner. I'm just going to use that to kind of tight line. I don't really like doing it that much, but um, I'm going to try. Okay, cleaned off the same brush and I'm going to smudge some of the brown from this palette. Um, just, below that, um, just below that eyeliner, just below the black. take a small pencil brush and take the blush the Sahara blush and I'll use that to smudge the black further down and then next for this eye I'm going to take this beigey color here this flesh toned color because the majority of the shades in here um, are quite shimmery and very pigmented, I'm not going to need to use concealer, uh, especially since I'm going to be taking this off anyway, but feel free to use concealer if you have really oily eyelids. So again, I'm going to take the dark brown shade and I'm going to create um, a halo eye with this look, with the silver look. So I'm going to go into the matte black shade in this bronze palette and I'm just going to use it on the outer corners of where I've put the brown on the outer corners of my um, on the off the center of my eye I'm going to use a clean brush just to clean up the outer edge and I'm going to take a bit of the Sahara blush again um, just to stop the black spreading too high. Next I'm going to take the um, I'm going to take this black shimmery color this one I'm going to clean the brush off and then I'm going to use the metallic then I'm going to use the this creamy silver color here the, the next one down then I'm going to take this glittery silver shade and then lastly I'm going to take the creamy off-white glitter shade and I'm going to top it off with this same silver then I'm going to deepen the corners of the halo eye that I've created just a little bit hmm. 
Okay, so I've had to put some um, setting powder on my under eyes just to clean up the corners a bit where the black had actually trans or carried over a bit too far. Um, so yeah, so this is a good trick if you want to clean up or get a sharper corner. Um, so yeah, I've just uh, deepened up the lower lash line with a bit more black. Um, and then deepen the center of my eyelid a bit on the corners of where the um, halo eye is and yeah so this is a bit intense definitely not something I would do on an everyday basis uh, let me just lighten it a bit so yeah so this is um, almost a finished look I'll put some liquid eyeliner on this eye and I think I will leave this eye as it is Hi everyone, so I'm back. I just had to um, basically finish up the eye and just clean up a few things and then I had a few things I needed to do around the house. Um, yeah, so I basically done a few things um, off camera, so if I just quickly explain what I've done. So um, I'm not sure if you noticed that the corners of the halo, of the spotlight rather, um, were not as dark, they were slightly patchy. So I've just gone in with a bit more black and just basically filled in and then I blended it out with the same blending brush and a little bit of the brown from the from the what do you call it from the iron cheek palette i just used this brown and the sahara blush together just to blend out the edges a bit and i did the same for this side as well the the edges and um, i also used the brown shade in this to smoke out the um, lower lash line a bit more on this side and i added a little bit on this side um, i think what else did i do yeah, so I ended up adding a black wing liner to both sides. I wasn't going to do that, but then I thought it needed a bit of something. Um, there was basically no point in adding it to this eye because you can't see it um, unless you're up close. And even with, even then, it's kind of um, not really necessary, I suppose. The only thing I think it did help with is kind of shaping the eye a bit. Um, and I also added some glitter. So. Um, Although I probably should have used my Makeup Revolution glitters, I just didn't have them to hand and I wasn't really thinking. Um, so I used these glitters which I haven't featured in my videos in a while on my channel in a while. So these are the Makeup Gallery Chick Flick Eyeliners. Um, I have it in a gunmetal silver and I have it in gold. Um, the gold one's more of a yellow gold and they have these really skinny um, tips. So I, I used the gold on this eye and I used it on the edge of um, the cut crease. So I used that just to kind of, because uh, I felt like the cut crease needed a little something. Um, and then I used the gunmetal one. First I put it on the top just to cut the um, halo eye and then I ended up putting it in stripey lines. And I know you can't see it, but it is actually in stripey lines. Um, so I thought that might be a bit different, but um, yeah, maybe if I did it in another color, I probably will do this kind of stripey line halo eye. I've never seen anybody do that before. So I probably will do it with a different color combination so the stripes can show. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd do that just to give this eye a bit more kind of texture and a bit more, um, make it a bit more 3D. Um, and then what did I do? What else did I do? So yeah, so the only thing that's left to do is to choose between the highlighters. So um, quickly, I'm just gonna use, oh, and by the way, my battery died as well. So I had to also recharge. So I thought I'd use that time to um, recharge my battery. So this is the um, copper, is it copper plate? Copper plate eyeshadow palette, eyeshadow palette, copper plate um, highlighter palette. So I'm gonna use it on this side. I do also have the Cleopatra's, that Cleopatra's Kiss palette. Um, I'm gonna do separate swatches of um, of these. Um, <clears throat> actually, I might as well just do swatches of my hands right now. So I'll do swatches of the copper plate right now. Okay, so from this side, then, uh, so from the top to the top right to the top left, so top row, right left, bottom row, right left. And this is what, the shades look like um, they're not as blinding as the shades from the Cleopatra's Kiss palette I would definitely say that and they're not as blinding as the shades from the Solstice palette but they're, they're definitely um, they're definitely very present so I'm gonna use uh, my highlighting brush so I think I'm gonna take this shade right here and use that almost as a blush And then I'm gonna take this shade right here. So first I took that shade, and then I'm gonna take this shade right here.
and then I think because actually I'm not going to use my Cleopatra's Kiss palette I think because this side is a bit more of a kind of like a I suppose a black and silver which is more leaning towards a cool tone type of thing um, so I'm going to use my Solstice highlighter, highlighting palette so I'm going to take this shade right here Then I'm going to take a bit of the lilac, not too much. So I'm going to take a bit of the, a bit of both colors. And I'm going to put them in my inner corner as well. And I'm going to wipe my brush off and then switch back to the copper plate palette and I'm going to take this shade right here which I haven't used at all. I'm going to wet it a bit with my fixing spray. Let's see if it shows up a bit more. It has a bit of a shift to it actually. So it's not um, as blinding as I want it to be so I'm going to go into my Cleopatra's Kiss palette and I'm going to take the golden shade in the corner here. Yeah. Then I'm going to just put that same gold on my brow bone. I'm going to take the slightly cooler shade and just put that on this brow bone. So I'm going to line my lips with my um, with the same sleek eyeliner pattern with the same sleek eyeliner. And I'm going to try and use two shades so Let's see how this works. I'm going to use the shades. So this, these, these are their, what are they called? Their VIP lipsticks. This shade is in Attitude 1012 and it's like a, a brownie red. I'm going to use it on this side. And this shade is more like a mulberry color. This is going to turn this look so vampy. Um, and it's like a mulberry kind of a deep mulberry plummy purple color. I'm going to use it on this side. Oh, I never mentioned the name of the mulberry color. So the mulberry colored um, lipstick is called Couture and it's 1015 okay so this is the finished look which side do you prefer um, clearly this is a bold look and I'm not even sure when I would wear this out but again it's a fun look it's a fun look to try and if you're looking for something dramatic to definitely stand out um, I guess with this eye <laughs> more is more uh, you probably would want to wear this look with a nude lip but we're having fun and this is just for YouTube so why not go out go all out and how do you like my braids as well so I did this myself let me know if you want to see a tutorial on how I did this I did this hair myself I watched I think two tutorials on YouTube and yeah and I thought wow this is something I can do because I'm kind of needing um, a touch up on my roots I need to relax my hair and I like to do hairstyles like this in between relaxing so yeah um, oh I thought I had yes I have one more thing so I got the illuminators their Birkin, Birkin. so I got their best skin illuminators 
and I got the shade Cuba which is a pinky color and the shade Pompeii which is a really dark malt kind of dark bronzy color and I just thought I'd try them because um, although this is like several months late I did buy this several months ago when the whole Fenty Beauty Body Lava thing came on but um, I just never never really bothered myself with um, filming even though I should have so I'm just gonna try a little bit of this It has a kind of like a light skincare type of fragrance to it but it blends in really well and it's not sticky at all it's like it's set so I'm gonna see what the pink one looks like I have a feeling it's warm I thought it might look a bit ashy on me but who knows no, it's blended in. I feel like the pinky one is definitely obviously for somebody who might be light skin. Um, I'm not sure if it's coming off on camera or not, but yeah, oh, right. So the pink one has specks of glitter in it. So if you don't mind that, um, go for it. I probably will be using this on my body. I might, I might use it as a, maybe I might mix it in with another body lotion and maybe use it on my legs. I don't mind that. Um, but yeah, so these would be good on your skin. Um, and they definitely I feel like I think I was a bit disappointed when I first bought them and tried them because I thought they didn't show up but they actually do show up so um, they add a bit of a sheen and you can definitely top it up with your highlighter as well if you wanted to but yeah the, the good thing about this um, the good thing about these Bare Kiss Illuminators is that they definitely dry down so they're not sticky at all so which is good um, a lot of the Fenty Beauty Body Lava well, a lot of the people that tried the Fenty Beauty Body Lava um, some of them I think some of them did say that it didn't quite dry down and that it was a bit sticky if you applied too much but um, this one is absolutely fine hmm. quite like this look so um, as you can see, oh, actually, um, I put the foundation on, I think was it around four that I started this and the time is now almost seven. So um, it has a healthy glow to it. It's not like dewy or anything. Um, and if you set like your oily areas, then it doesn't go too, too oily. I find that it goes oily on me around maybe the six or uh, seven hour mark. And if I do like an extra step to keep it matte, it definitely stays matte all day. If I use my color, my lotion trick, stays my all day and then there's certain powders as well I actually have one powder I'm going to feature very soon which keeps me matte like nearly all day and yeah so if you don't want to do the calamine lotion trick this powder is great and it's not a new powder but it's definitely a powder that's been forgotten about because I don't hear about it and I didn't get it when people were talking about it and now that I have it I'm glad I got it so yeah so this is um, a powder I'm going to be featuring soon um, yeah but th these are all the products I've tried so out of everything I think so definitely the foundation I already know I love that the um, luminous powder I'm not sure if it did anything maybe that's what's kind of giving me a glow that I can't that I'm thinking might be a natural glow I'm not sure the luminous powder is um, I think maybe it might show up maybe because it's not really showing up on camera maybe if I um, used it on I don't even know but um, I'm not sure what to think about this luminous powder I, I don't want to make make excuses for it because I, I'm not sure if it does anything because it's quite a sheer powder um, it looks nice in the pan but I'm not sure if it does anything to my skin but um, if you've tried it and it does do something let me know a lot of people raved about this which is why I got it um, 
and then the concealers these concealers are absolutely amazing you get a lot of product and it's for a cheap price as well it's medium to full coverage it dries matte it doesn't sink into your smart lines what more could you want these concealers are amazing um i think they are my new favorite concealers um, and they dry matte, like I said, and they have more coverage than the Maybelline. Um, they have more coverage than the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, in Instant Anti Age Eraser concealers. Uh, yeah, so love, love, love these concealers. They are the star of the show. Um, and then a close second um, are these palettes. So these palettes are really, really great. They're slim line. They're good to travel with. You get six grams of products. I don't think I said that at the beginning. So the silver palette and the bronze palette are amazing. Great pigmentation. If you want like a quick, quick, quick. If you want like a quick sweep of like color over your eyelash, over your, over your, um, your eyes, and then you can just apply a bit of um a bit of uh, any of the coppery or silvery colors on top it's like a really good way to do that but then the only thing is that they don't have a brown shade which i think they def this palette definitely needs because the black can easily travel i mean black is one of the hardest colors to work with and i needed a brown from another palette to help blend it out so it wouldn't get like too far blown out so you definitely need a brown shade with this palette and definitely something with this palette this palette doesn't have any matte shades in it at all it has creams and it has satin um it has cream um it has cream eyeshadows and it has satin eyeshadows and it has straight on like foily eyeshadows but these eyeshadows in terms of the pigmentation they are amazing they are absolutely amazing um yeah you definitely don't need to wet your brush with any of these um eyeshadows they're basically like just pressed pigment the liquid liquid lipsticks the lipsticks are really nice and creamy they glide on they're really super pigmented my my um my lips feel really moisturized and yeah i feel like they will definitely last they remind me of um kind of like a better mac lipstick i'm not like the biggest fan of mac lipsticks um i think i've really, i've tried ruby woo i've only tried one and my friend has loads that she doesn't definitely swears by but my ruby woo doesn't really um my lips get dry with the ruby woo that's the only thing so i'm not sure if it's because of the color or the formulation but these are definitely very moisturizing so i really like that um what else what else love 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 that um highlighting palettes i mean i don't know anybody that doesn't like a sleek highlighting palette and then um what else oh i forgot to put my lashes on let me try and put lashes on and if they fail oh I forgot. my gosh this look is not finished yet i need to put my lashes on and i need to put mascara on so i'm going to try and put my lashes on hopefully it works out if it doesn't i will come back and try and fix whatever um but yeah so i'll come back with hopefully lashes on um yeah okay so i have my my drag lashes on shall i say so um, i got these lashes from ebay i know did i get from ebay or aliexpress one of the two either way i can't see <laughs> i can't see from from below them so um yeah they look nice um but they're quite long i don't know how girls can wear lashes this long they are so long um and i'm not sure i've even put them on properly but i'm just gonna soldier on because i just need to take some pictures and get this off off my face so this is the final look that's one side and that's the other side and i think i definitely prefer this side this is the kind of look i could definitely wear yeah i can definitely wear this this is more for i don't know creative type thing but yeah so um let me just zoom in a bit yeah so this is the final looks or should i say look or looks but yeah this is it this is it <coughs> and i'm losing my voice but anywho um if you like this kind of um kind of makeup tutorial type thing it's not really a tutorial it's just basically me i'm not telling you what to do i'm basically just showing you what i would do um and how i like to have fun with my makeup so um yeah so if you like this kind of makeup look give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below let me know what you think and if you want me to create anything else let me know and i'll definitely see if i can make that work and yeah so until next time have a blessed night have a blessed morning have a blessed afternoon and i will see you in my next video bye